In today's video, I will teach you how to add drop shadows in GIMP. Let's get started. There are multiple ways that you can add drop shadows in GIMP. The first and easiest one is by using the filters that are readily available on GIMP. With the object that you would like to apply the drop shadow selected, go to the menu bar, filters, and select light and shadows. Here, there are different shadow options to choose from. The first one is drop shadow. In the drop shadow dialog box, there are many parameters that you can change. Out of all the drop shadow options that can pass, this one is the most detailed one. To see the changes that you're making, make sure to enable the preview option. Now, you can change the direction of the shadow that you would like to apply. You can also adjust the X and Y values separately by clicking the chain icon on the right side. The blur radius determines how blurry your shadow is going to appear. This one is different from opacity, which determines how visible your drop shadow is going to appear. The lower you set the blur radius, the more opaque and crisp the edges are going to be. And the higher you set the blur radius, the softer the edges are going to be. Meanwhile, if you lower the opacity of the shadow, it will appear less visible. And if you set the opacity high, the more visible the shadow is going to be. So. Simply find a balance in between the right amount of blur radius and opacity to achieve the drop shadow effect that you're looking for. If there are elements and graphics below the object where you're trying to add the drop shadow effect on, you can change the blending mode of the shadow so that it can blend more seamlessly to the background. Once you're satisfied, you can now click OK. Now, the second filter option that you can add is the drop shadow legacy. This one is more basic and direct to the point. It has all the essential parameters that you can adjust, but there is no preview option so you cannot see the results unless you apply it first, which makes it more difficult to find the right values for each parameter. The last option for adding drop shadow is by using the blur filter. To do this, duplicate the layer first by pressing shift Control d and with the shadow layer still selected, go to the menu bar filters, and select blur. Here, there are multiple blur options to choose from. You can try each of them and adjust their respective parameters to find one that works best for your design. And you're done. If you find this video helpful, Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.